Good. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Excellent. Well, um, thanks everyone for coming tonight. Thanks to BCTV too for uh, for uh, getting us on the air here. So tonight's uh, night, there was in our we had two listening sessions. Uh, oh, I should say I'm John with Great Falls Construction, and Julie and Cindy are here in the audience as well. Um, so we had a couple of listening sessions over a period of time. And one of the big questions was communication. How are we going to communicate to the community uh, what's going on? So we put some uh, meetings on the calendar to update people on progress. Uh, we have these standing meetings on the calendar. Tonight is the first standing meeting uh, that's just a, it's a, it's an update meeting. So um, some of these update meetings will have a lot of things to discuss and others we won't have a whole lot to, to discuss for an update, but we're always here for questions, comments, want to hear anything that uh, anyone has to say or questions. So tonight our update is very brief. Um, we, we have officially hired a civil engineering firm to um, get busy on designing the project next door, and uh, that's, we're going to be working with Sebago Technics. We, had, we put out uh, an RFP and we had three responses total, three good responses, um, and ultimately took the last, it took a couple of months to work through them and, and get things finalized. And um, so we are working with Sebago Technics, and um, that's our biggest update. I mean, that's that, what that means is that we've, uh, we actually have signed a contract with them at this point, and they're going to move forward um, with, the, their, as we speak, this sort of gathering information, gathering um, you know, different parts and pieces of um, data that have been, um, well, things that have been worked on over the last few years and getting started. So I know that's not much for an update, but it really is. It's kind of huge because it's the beginning of uh, our design process for what's happening next door. So uh, with that said, um, I, it's, it's really the update that I have. I was hoping that if anyone has any questions about that or about anything, be happy to answer them, and or Julie or Cindy would be happy to chime in too. So, uh, anybody have any questions? If you yes. If you guys don't want to come to the podium, we have microphones for you. It's up to you. Um, yeah. How do you promote the, the uh, design? You want me to ask so you know? yeah. <laughs> how do you uh, promote the design to the community? Do you have options, or you just kind of say this is what we're thinking, or you guys can kind of say what it looks like? So our goal will be to boil down uh, a, a few different options and bring them to update meetings um, and, just, and just receive input on them. That'll, that'll be the goal. So uh, we will not be just designing um, the project, you know, in a, in a closed room somewhere and saying, here, this is, this is what it is. Um, we'll be doing some different concepts. Uh, you know, we, we talk with the engineers about possibly three concepts, but that'll really flush out as we as we sort of look at what, you know, there are some certain things that we um, think we want on the site, and so we have to design around those. And as an example, if we want a coffee shop there or if we want a financial institution and they need drive-throughs for those, we have to figure out how that fits on site first and then design, you know, forward from there. So. Those, um, we'll be putting concepts together and we'll be bringing them forward to, uh, really for public input. Any uh, other? Go on. Oh, yes. It, it yeah. is, I'll, I'll just, no, no, it is, I'll help clarify things. You know, when you say you see, hired the civil engineer, is um, that to people in Berwick, what that's going to mean is now we will be seeing activity on the site. Is that correct? They will be coming down, putting you know, markers, stakes, and things like that. So people will have a better idea that at least we're having some progress. Yeah, good question. So uh, the answer to that is yes. I don't know when or how much. Um, there's some historical survey data that we're we're trying to get you know to, to get a hold of, and when they get a hold of that, they'll start working uh, back in the office on modeling things and getting things figured out. They will probably need to come down to site some to get things figured out, but you know, with the, with the snow cover and stuff on site, it's not, you know, not that easy to get accurate information. So if they need one or two points, they can certainly get it. 
Um, but if they need to do a full survey, they'd have to wait for a little while to do it. So we're hoping that we can get some information um, from, pre you know, from past surveys that will help them move forward on it. But they will be working. I mean, we have a contract with them. They're already, you know, uh, they're already working on pulling things together. Um, and so as far as activity on site, um, you may see some people down there. I uh, can't commit to how many and when, but you, uh, there, there will be action happening behind the scenes for sure. What's the timeline? Do you have a timeline for the planning part of it? Well, um, we we haven't we didn't really put a schedule together for it. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're so the survey work has to happen first. We've got to get that site on paper to start figuring out how we can massage things around, move them, make them work, and engineer it. Um, so that's the first step. Then, you know, we, we have kind of a creative phase as well, which is the phase where we need to figure out our just sort of building massing on site, what it's going to look like, where it's going to be, where there are going to be paths and roads and things like that. And that will be where we'll do concepts and, you know, bring them forward for public input. And a as we start to, you know, work our way down the funnel, uh, we can then, they can then do more and more engineering on the site and start, start tightening it up. So our hope is that it happens um, very quickly. But, I mean, the permitting process itself, once we have a design to send out for permitting, uh, the permitting process is a minimum generally of six months. I mean, they have six months to do it at the state level to uh, approve the permit. I'd like to think we can accelerate that a little bit, but, you know, we've certainly been in situations plenty of times where you can't. And um, so that's, uh, that's kind of, I know that's not crisp dates, but it's kind of roughly where we're at. In a nutshell, I mean, we want to move it quickly. We, we only have a small tidbit of an update this meeting, which is we hired the civil engineer. But what we've done now is hired a team to get to work on, this, on the design of the project. So uh, it should move. Um, it shouldn't be held up on my desk like things can get sometimes at this point. It should move forward. Um, with, with them working on it, so yes. Are you hiring? And my point is, I live and work here in, in Berwick, and I've got a lot of project projects going on locally. I could be a rep here and do anything you need here in Berwick. It's an offer, and, a, and as a volunteer, um, I'll leave my contact information afterwards with you. If there's anything I can do to help you do your job, okay. just call me. Okay. Excellent. Appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> the existing buildings, have you had a chance to get into the existing buildings to see if there's something that you want to use? Uh, well, we've been in them, but not, you know, not in a little while. And I think the, uh, what will really determine, we, uh, we've been in them enough to know that they're structurally sound enough to reuse if we choose to do so, if it makes sense. I think when we start looking at the site plan and building massings, that's when we're going to find out whether those buildings are going to fit in nicely or whether they sort of get in the way of a really good design. So I don't have any good updates on that at this point. But um, that's going to be one of our first things to figure out is whether they stay or whether they go. Um. Understandably, if you don't have this ready yet, but do you guys know exactly what the process would be like for you guys working to remove some of the chemical waste that was left there uh, from the hole that happens? So yeah, um, at this point, uh, thankfully, the, a lot of work has been done around that. And so the, the site is now under a VRAP, which is an official status. And uh, it doesn't mean that we won't find things on site when we start digging, but, um, and, but it, it's very prescribed on what we do and how we take care of that moving forward. A lot of that stuff has been taken care of, as much as is known has been taken care of. Um, and the manner in which we, you know, the site is currently protected, uh, has a protective layer, a temporary cover over the top of it. Um, and when we start to excavate here and there, it's very prescribed on how we go about doing that, what we do if we find Material, but that site, I don't know how many, Rick, do you know how many test sites there are or test digs? I mean, test borings? I mean, I, I've seen the map. 
and it's uh, throughout its history, maybe a couple hundred. Yeah, it's pretty significant. It's been you know testimony. So between test pits, monitoring wells, and other things. Yeah, and based on all of that, the best information that we have are there are a couple of spots that we need to really be paying attention to, and um, uh, and and you know if we get into those areas, we would expect to hit something there. Uh, and the other is just because just because we don't expect to doesn't mean we won't. But um, there's a, you know, in that, uh, the environmental covenants that are on site right now, they exist, they're done, they're in place, and that defines how we deal with all of that. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, about the funding sources, like, is this something where Great Falls is looking to take on the construction costs on their own, or are you looking for bank loans or other funding partners? Um, well, yeah, I think for the most part it'll be bank loans. That's kind of how we'll, that's how we do it typically. Yeah, and well, we do have some, um, some programs, I can't think of the name of the program, but there are some funding sources that will help with the environmental it, side. It's a revolving loan fund. Revolving loan yeah, fund. Southern Main Planning and Development. Southern Main Planning and Development, thank you. Yeah. Um, and so we have, actually we have met with them, um, and, um, they will help with some of the, basically the environmental. Yeah, they have low uh, interest loans available for you as you develop the property. Anything that's considered an eligible cost, like foundations, pavements, things like that, become, can become eligible costs. Yeah. Uh, so. Excellent. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Excellent. Thanks. talk a little bit about how you guys get the public input and how decisions are then made after you gather it. Because um, I guess my question is, by seeing how small amount of people are here, how do you go about making sure you get everybody's input and the decisions made? Sure, yeah. Well, good question. Um, I think one, one answer is, is this forum right here. And even though there's, there's only a few people here, thankfully BCTV is is, is broadcasting it, so anyone that's interested may be listening. Um, we've had two listening sessions which were attended, um, uh, were well attended, and took, we took a lot of notes uh, on that. When we, I think that, you know, when we have something to show, um, I think we do a better job at, at, you know, hopefully be able to get the word out that we're bringing some concepts. So if anyone's interested in, in looking at that or, or weighing in on it, giving their thoughts, you know, on, on what we're looking at, then um, we would let people know that. So who ultimately makes decisions? Well, honestly, ultimately, we make the decision, although it's not, I say we do, but it's really a community decision because if our decision is not in alignment with, with what the community is looking for, then, you know, it's oil and water the whole way, which is not a good place to be for development. Um, I mean, ultimately, we, you know, we, it's a private development, so, you know, the, we, we could... You know, if it were our style to simply say, this is what it is, here's what we're building, and that's what we could do. But I would expect a lot of resistance there, and that's just not our style. You know, we don't want to, we're really trying to build something that ultimately uh, we get buy-in from the community all the way through. And we think that that's the best way to succeed <coughs> and uh, have a win-win all the way around the, the table. Um, so, but we'll have to process, you know, the, the financial implications of it, what, how we're, what we're building, what we use as materials, what it's going to look like, where things are going. We've got to process all of that and have to deliver, uh, you know, space that businesses can afford to rent and do business in, that residences can afford to rent and live there. And so um, we have to kind of keep that in mind. Thank you. Welcome. Are you guys looking to partner with any uh, sort of um, tenants up front, like during the design process, or are you, like are you looking to lock any of that in, or meet with specific people who might be staking a claim and helping with the design process? Uh, yeah, we definitely uh, have a list. Julie has a list of interested uh, businesses, and and actually one resident has called up and said that they want they they want in uh, to for a rental. When, when there's one available. So she is keeping a list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, she's keeping a list. And um, any, so anyone that is interested, I definitely would encourage um, to just reach out 
and um, we haven't had a chance to reach out too much on that list yet. It just hasn't been time, but it will be coming up. So, John, you know, everybody's concentrating on the big industrial parcel over here. Yeah. Is you also own a duplex over on School Street. Do you know now if you have any plans to continue that as a residential part or looking to do commercial there also? I actually, I, sorry, I don't have much to report on that. I, uh, it, it, you know, I, this process, we, we've had to really keep it pretty linear, and, um, and so I just have refrained from doing a lot of brainstorming on how we would use different parts until it was time, and the time's coming up, and um, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be giving that some thought to see how that fits into the picture. If it doesn't fit in commercially, then I would assume it would sort of just remain as it is or um well, hopefully not as it is <laughs> well no i mean i mean as an update you know we would update it for sure yeah but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah definitely any other questions for john anybody else who do you reach out to to get onto the business list um, well, we, we can uh, catch up afterwards here. J uh, Julie, you can reach out to. Or what, if you if you got a second afterwards, we can yeah, yeah. get her on the list. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, good. We w and we will be, I mean, if we will, ha we'll be right here for a little bit if anyone has questions afterwards. And uh, our next uh, update meeting is two months from now. Um, do you have it, Julie? She's going to pull up what the next one is. But we currently have three scheduled today and two more, and we plan to just continue them on the calendar um, as a, you know, just as a regular check-in meeting. April 14th at 10 a.m. April 14th at 10 a.m. And then June 15th at 6 p.m. And then June 15th at 6 p.m. And are they, are they all right here? Is this space available? Yep. Okay. Good. So if that's it, if no one has any more questions, uh, then we can uh, really appreciate everyone coming down. Thanks for your questions and for your interest. And if, um, I mean, if, if you don't have, you can always call Great Falls Construction. Pretty easy to find in the interim. Any questions whatsoever? If you don't remember names, just call into the office and say, if you've got a question about what's going on in Berwick, and somebody will get you to somebody that can uh, answer your question. So, all right. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.